It was an ugly crash, a four car pileup with vehicles pinned under a semi. Inside one of the vehicles, a pregnant woman. But amazingly, everyone survived, including her baby. As News 13's Elena Mendoza reports from Lovington, even first responders were amazed. What was supposed to be a night filled with holiday cheer turned to chaos. I was just hoping my nephew was okay because of the ship. I just saw his car seat just thrown under the semi and I was hoping my brother-in-law was okay <laughs> and my sister. Jasmine Villalobo says she was meeting her family at the Lovington Light Parade Monday night when she heard they were in a bad car accident on Highway 18. Seeing cars pinned underneath the semi, she thought the worst. I mean by the look of the cars and the way the accident was like I don't know how they lived through it. Lovington police say the 80 year old semi truck driver had gotten lost and attempted to make a U turn on the highway without signaling or putting his hazard lights on. There's three cars behind him that impacted into his tractor and his trailer, and some of the vehicles became wedged under the trailer. Her sister Jessica, eight and a half months pregnant, was in the front passenger seat of this car. She suffered a badly broken leg. The shock of the accident sent Jessica into labor, forcing doctors in Lubbock to wait to do the surgery on her leg, drilling a rod to keep her femur in place so she could give birth. She's so strong, but she just keeps saying her strength is coming from God. Early Wednesday morning, she delivered a baby boy named Jason. Both are doing fine. The family asked that we not show mom and baby out of respect for their privacy. He's so cute. He has the biggest dimples. He's healthy, so that's what really matters. A happy ending to a tragic night. It's definitely a miracle God saved them. He had his hand on their life. In Lovington, Elena Mendoza, KRQE News 13. Now, Via Lobos is a two year old nephew was also in the car. He was just shaken up. Her brother in law, who was driving, had a broken nose. Police say the semi driver was cited for not signaling an improper turn.